What you guys got another video here for you now a few of you wanted to know how to disable windows defender and you can do that in the group policy editor and you can also do it in the registry and i'll show you how to do that in this video now normally when you open up the uh, windows defender here what will happen is uh, it will start to uh, turn itself back on like so so if you're running this here and you want to disable this completely and you don't want it running and I'll show you how to do it. Now normally when you're installing other software like Bitdefender or something like that it will take care of this for you but if you want to disable it manually yourself you can do and I'll show you how to do that in this video. First off we're going to go to the group policy editor. You will need to have Windows 10 Pro and above to get here. And we're going to go to GP edit and you can see here the edit group policy. Now once you're inside here, this is where we can make uh, some big changes for our system. So what we're going to do is go to the computer configuration here and administrative templates, open this up, Windows components, come down here and you will see inside here Windows Defender. So you can see here Windows Defender uh, antivirus. So let me just pull this open here. we go and uh, if you see down on this side here on the right hand pane once you click on the Windows Defender Antivirus you will see turn off Windows uh, Defender Antivirus you can see it's not been configured but if you want to you can double click on this and you can then uh, enable this feature and this will then disable uh, that feature for you so you just click apply and click OK and uh, once you've done that, that, that will then put that in place and you will then have uh, no uh, Windows Defender, it will be disabled. So let me just uh, reverse this so I can show you another way of doing things. The other way, if you don't have Windows 10 Pro and above and you just have Windows 10 Home, you can go to the Registry Editor. You need to type Reg Edit open up the registry editor here okay starting off from this area here it's always good to make a backup first and if you don't know how to do that you need to go to file and export make sure you select the whole computer and export and make a backup okay so what we're going to do here is go to HK local machine software pull that down look for policies Microsoft then look for Windows Defender and you can see inside Windows Defender we have no um, registry keys on here to set in place so what you need to do here if you don't see uh, disable anti spyware then you need to add that in so all we need to do here is go new D word 32 bit value make sure you're selected on the Windows Defender okay inside here we need to put in our value name and this is going to be disable anti spyware just like that then double click on this and you can put a value of one inside here like so you can then close this off and uh, restart your system okay that should have took care of that and that should now be disabled now if you are installing an antivirus program like Bitdefender or something like that then that should take care of disabling uh, the Windows Defender and let me just show you now I've got Windows uh, Defender on here disabled because Bitdefender's taking care of it so I'm going to go into the Windows security and you can see here if I go into this area and we look at the virus protection you can see no action needed you can see there's a link here to open Bitdefender antivirus anti-malware so it's taking care of that and you can see that it's already been uh, disabled so it's taking care of that for you so you won't need to worry about it if you are running an antivirus program 
like uh, Bitdefender or something like that. Just check to make sure, but it should take care of those settings for you. Okay, anyway, that's about it for this video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.